Howdy friends, this is Lance. I'm going to talk a little bit about the hybrid teaching scenario that you could possibly do so that way you are working wirelessly, working with your class, as well as having it up on the TV and also working through Google Meet all simultaneously for those that are working from a distance. And maybe you want to record that session at the same time. So there's a little bit of work around here. This is for a scenario where in my school district, what we're doing is we use Chrome remote desktop to beam into a PC that's plugged into a television. And we do that so that way teachers are able to access the tools that are on their PC and do so wirelessly. And they treat their Chromebook essentially as a remote control for their TV. And that's the idea behind it. So how do you do that simultaneously with Google Meet is the question. And so there's a lot to, a lot of hoops to jump through and setting up uh, Chrome Remote Desktop and, and understanding that. But once you understand how to use Chrome Remote Desktop, I think this is a really good option for the entire package of launching a Google Meet, recording the Google Meet, as well as using Chrome Remote Desktop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is launch Chrome Remote Desktop. So let me select the icon, it'll pop up. It's gonna ask me to connect to my computer. And depending on how I have mine set up, I may uh, ask for a pin, may not. So now what you can see in this space in Chrome Remote Desktop is what's up there. So any changes that I make, any drawings that I do, and this is fantastic because my school district, we have uh, Lenovo 500Es with fine tip styluses. So we can sit there and draw on the screen and walk around the room and talk to the class. So the question is, how do you do that simultaneously with a Google Meet? Okay, so let me clear. Actually, I'll just leave that. So in this little box here, that is my PC screen. This stuff up here is my Chromebook and I can see my Chrome Remote Desktop there. Okay, so I have Chrome Remote Desktop ready to go. I'm already running it. The next thing I'm gonna do is launch my Google Meet. I'll hit me. Then once I'm in Google Meet, I don't need my camera on here because what will end up happening is I'll end up looking like that. And nobody, none of the students wanna see that. So I'm gonna turn that off like so. And then what I'm also going to do is make sure that I have my microphone on because by doing this, by recording from my Chromebook and recording a tab, then what it's going to do is pick up my voice specifically on this Chromebook. It's gonna be powerful. So I'm going to hit join now. And I can X out of that. I don't need it. So now then I'm ready to present. Let me get my face out of the way here. I'm going to present my screen, but I'm only going to present a tab because I only need to present my Chrome remote desktop. All right and I'm gonna hit share. I selected my Chrome remote desktop. Now I'm presenting this so that anyone that's in the live session can follow along and I can be talking to the group and I can be talking to the person that is also in the live session. If I need to record this live session. Then so then what I'll do is go down here to the three dots and hit record meeting. It'll ask if I want to ask for consent. And once that kicks on, now here's what's happening. I'm gonna to switch to my remote desktop space here. It's recording this, it's presenting this, it's recording my voice in the Google Meet. So anything that I'm talking about, I can add additional notes and I can draw on my screen. And then if I need to go full screen, I can also do this. There's three dots up here on my Chrome browser, go full screen. So that way I have more real estate. So now, those that are in the audience are seeing what's up here on the screen. I can go out of this. Let me add a new drawing here. This is kind of a nice feature. I'll hit new drawing. Now down at the bottom, I have more drawings. And the students at home are seeing this and it's recording it. So Google, this is Google Keep, by the way. And then what I'm going to do is when I'm done presenting, I'm going to get out of full screen. Actually, with my stylus, since I'm flipped backwards, I'll swipe down on that. I'm going to hit the three dots exit full screen. And then when my presentation is over, I could go into the Google Meet. If I just wanted to end it right there, I could if all I'm doing is recording it. But if there's live students in there, I need to go back to Google Meet, hit the three dots and stop recording. And what I will do now is show you that my recording, I can exit out of Google Meet, will eventually end up in my Google Drive. It's gonna to go to a folder and this might take a while to process, but it will go to a folder called Meet Recordings. 
I'm going to change this to last modified so I can see my most recent. It will end up right here. Now, it takes some time to process, so don't expect it to appear there right away. Just letting you know that's the case. So let me recap that. What I did first was I activated Chrome Remote Desktop, connected to my computer so that way I can wirelessly control it. I went to Google Classroom. I went to the Google Meet session. I'm going to join the Google Meet. I don't have to have my camera on in the Google Meet unless I really want to. I will go ahead and present a Chrome tab, not my entire screen. And I'm just going to present the Chrome Remote Desktop tab. And I'm also going to record this session once it's presenting. So now that I'm presenting, I can go down here, click on the three dots, and I can hit record meeting. And so while live, I can record and I can control my TV and I can work in this space while students are in the classroom and students are on Google Meet. When I'm done, I can go back into Google Meet, stop presenting, click on the three dots, and stop recording will be right there.